Hello everyone and welcome to the course of IoT in 5G by Telcoma Technology. So in this course we will discuss about Internet of Things in 5th generation. So with the rise of the cloud along with there is a rapid increase in traffic and we can have more sophisticated cellular core networks. So we can have three different types of clouds like we can have data centers, IP, backbone IP networks, cellular core networks. So these are responsible for computation, storage, communication and network management. Computation, storage, communication and network management are the main tasks. So the function of three uh, these types of clouds are basically in a descending from data centers, IP networks and cellular core networks. They are near the end users. So whenever the clouds are near the end users, we can give the term as a fog. So fog, this is basically empowered by the latest chips, radios and sensors, edge devices which are totally capable like we can have edge devices near to the end users and the devices are totally cap capable of performing complex functions including computation, storage, sensing and also the network management. So like architecture which is basically the fog architecture like we can have division. Now we are division between each layer of the network we can have division between the control plane and the data plane we can have division between the cloud and a fog which can support various application domains so fog architecture it basically refers to an architecture which is responsible for computing storage control and communication network and this application this architecture can support a variety of applications so it is fog architecture basically an architecture for cloud of things we can refer as c2t it uses one or more end user clients and near user edge devices so that it can carry out number of amount huge amount of storage communication control configuration measurement and management so it can use the fog architecture which includes the 5G, home, personal networking, artificial intelligence and internet of things. So fog can refer to an architecture for computing, storage, control and communication and it can support a variety of application as we have discussed. So basically for fog we can have three dimensions. Now what are the three dimensions? Very first that it carry out a substantial amount of storage at or near the end user. It means that rather than store in a larger scale data center, we can support, we can store near to the end user. Another one as carry out a substantial amount of communication at or near the end user communication, like rather than through the backbone network, we can provide it, it can provide to the near to the end user. And third one, it carry out a substantial amount of computing and management control and configuration at or near the end users that means we are not going to rather than control primarily by the gateways as those in the LT core network it can to the end user all of these dimensions are possible because of fog so fog basically we can have networking computing story and control so basically we can have fog computing architecture fog networking architecture storage architecture and control architecture because networking, computing, storage and control are the major domains of the FOG. So we can have architecture for networking, computing, storage and control. So as we can have there is a division. So we can have data plane of a FOG network. We can have control plane of the FOG network. It supports various 5G application, IoT applications and big data application. This is basically what FOG is. So in this class, very first class, we have discussed about the FOG. Thank you so much.